Hello guys, it's Max Marziano Vlogs here and today I'll be bringing you my pre-match preview ahead of the Portsmouth game along with transfer rumours and all that stuff. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe. So let's do this. So the Portsmouth games today, as you are all aware, uh, I hope we win. We need to play, I, I doubt Mowbray will play a strong team because it's a cup match. He, he, looks, he said he's likely going to let Ricketts and Willis sit out this game just to not risk them from injury because we're short short as it is on defenders uh i hope carl spence plays i think he's done really well in pre-season and he scored a couple of goals and he's just adds that spark to the team i would like to see uh kyle reed play tonight i think he's a good player i've heard a lot of good things about him when he was on loan at bradford last year i hope andy rose plays and i hope we just change the formation around a bit because it didn't work at all on saturday i know it's only one game but I do think we need to change it back to a flat 4-4-2 with Marvin Sordal up top with a quick striker like Adam Armstrong. There's There has been a lot of rumours about Adam Armstrong. Uh, there was there was a few rumours at the start of the transfer window linking him back to a move to us, but he, Rafa Benitez wanted to send him out on loan to a championship side, so that's kind of silenced the, silenced the transfer rumour completely for us because we're only in League One, as you know. Uh, it's going to be an interesting game tonight with uh, former Coventry City players Adam Barton and Carl Baker returning to the Rico Arena. Adam Barton didn't have a successful time, but he moved to Portsmouth last summer and has, is hoping for success there. Whilst Carl Baker, I, re I always remember him as our captain. He was a good player for us. So I hope he does well this season with Portsmouth because he was at MK Dons last year and he left, which was quite surprising to me, and he moved to Portsmouth, which I, again surprised me. I think he's still a quality player. Uh, personally, I think we should beat we should beat Portsmouth. I don't think they're a strong they're a strong side, but they're only in League Two. We've got to have a good cup run, I think, because if we're struggling in the league, if we're on a good cup run, at least you can that could be the highlight of the season. Because lately, recently in the past couple of years, we've not really had a cup run. I do remember going to Arsenal and Tottenham and getting trounced or six one and stuff. But it's all a, it's a good experience for us fans. Uh, Another thing about the English Football League trophy, which has annoyed me a bit, is that under-21 Premier League teams are allowed, to are allowed to participate in the Cup. Personally, I think it's wrong completely. It's a Football League trophy for a reason. It gives Football League teams a chance to win and win a trophy because the FA Cup, although every team's entered into it, every league more or less, it's always a Premier League team who wins. There's hardly any Championship or League One teams in the final. So it's a good chance for Football League teams to win and get a bit of silverware but I think that looking at the odds it said every academy team who's in the cup are going to win are, are favourites to win it and I just think that just defeats the object a bit really uh, it's a bit it's a frustrating as a Coventry fan I want to see us do well but these academy teams are just going to breed their players into these cups and make them first team players which I think is a bit bit wrong I think it's just wrong completely uh we have been linked with a couple of signings from these banter rumour pages on Twitter and stuff like Gabriel Agbongnahor. I heavily doubt he'll sign for us. He's he's on £50,000 a week and I heavily doubt he'd want to drop to about £3,000 a week to join us. Uh, I think these rumour pages are just trying to wind us up a bit. We've also been linked to the Wolves captain, but again, why would he want to drop down a tier to where we've not got a lot of money to offer him? Anyway... Uh, Andy Rhodes as well. Last week he was linked with a move away to an Australian side, but I don't think that'll happen. I think he's 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 only signed us for us recently, and he admitted that he's he settled here and he likes the challenge. So that's a positive for us. I've there was a large rumor going around at the start that Adam Armstrong may return, but Andy Turner yesterday stated that he wouldn't be coming back, and Rangers look set to sign him on loan with Martin Waghorn being injured for them. Yeah, I think I hope we win tomorrow. I think it'll be a two 0 win. I think Carl. I want to see Carl Reed play, and I want to see Carl Spence play, and I hope them two score because I know we don't have a lot of players at our disposal, but it's nice to see these academy players do well for us. Uh, I would just I'd just like to see a good performance as well because it's the first game at the Rico Arena for us this season. It'd be nice to get get off to a good start like we did last year. I, I am I, I'm not up, as optimistic this year as I was last season purely because of the lack of transfer signings but today we have gone and signed uh, this player called Lewis Page uh, on a five-month loan deal from West Ham he's highly rated by the 
West Ham fans, so I hope it does well. It, it's a left left back, so I've got no doubt I'll go straight into the match day squad for the game today. Uh, I think Haynes is a good player, but he just lacks defensive qualities, and I I do worry if he might he could be on his way out on loan again. But with Stokes injured, you never know really. It, it could even mean Stokes could be on his way out because we need the money at the moment, and he's probably him and Reese Charles Cook are our only valuable players. I do believe we need another centre back. I've I've thought about this a couple of times. We need a big demanding centre back. We've got we missed out on Calvin Wilson who signed for Rotherham. We were so close to signing him, but Rotherham had offered him more money and of course for any footballer, if you're offered more money, you're gonna go there. We've got Reddy Johnson still and I don't get why Mowbray hasn't offered him some kind of deal because he's a good centre back. I know he's injured, but we don't really have a choice. We can't it's hard it's hard enough for us to have a low budget as we have to find a centre back, but we just need that quality, that demanding centre back. And Mowbray's even stated that's the kind of centre back he wants, and that's why he released Aaron Martin because he wasn't physical enough in Mowbray's eyes. I thought I thought it was stupid to release Aaron Martin. I think in the position we're in, we can't just let players here and there go. Even a player like Aaron Phillips, okay, he didn't play a lot, but he's a good right back, and he's, he was in our academy for quite a while. Uh, I think Dion Kelly Evans, however, is a very good right back. He's been the captain a couple of times in pre-season, which shows he is a leader. I always like it's always good to see a young leader come through because he's got it. Just shows they've got potential. They've got good qualities about them. I would like to see uh, Marvin Sordell be given a second chance tonight because I get the impression he's going to be our go-to striker. But we've still got the number nine number slot available for a player who comes in. And um, personally, I hope it's. I just hope it's a quality name because the number nine is usually left to your, one, your best striker isn't it and Marvin Sordell obviously hasn't been, been given that number which means we could have another striker come in personally we need a quick striker because Marvin Sordell he's very got, he's got good hold up play uh, and he's he's got all the attributes really he's, he was at Burnley a couple of years ago in the Premier League he's just had a bit of dip in form hasn't he but we just need to give him that chance again to revive his career I'd like to see Marcus Tudguy play tonight as well. I think he's a good player. He's, he scores a lot. He scores important goals. He just adds a bit of class to the team, I think. Purely because of his, just his finishing, I think it's really good. In pre-season, he's scored quite a few. Uh, I think he's, I just think he's a good player to have around. I think that's why Mowbray kept him on. I would like to see Gadshev and Rose play. Again, I think they're good players. They've got good qualities about them all. I I would like I would like to see us perform perform well because it's it, I think I think he'll be their key player along with Gary Roberts who signed from Swindon two seasons ago he he seems to assist a lot and get Nick chip in with a good few goals for them I think Portsmouth I think they'll win the league I've I've predicted it uh, I think they're a strong team I think we've got to be prepared for the test I think we've got to we've got to play. We've got to play some young lads, but I know we've, we've got to keep some of the senior lads in the squad because it's important we have a good cut run because we need it. We It's nice for us just to go far, you know. Right, anyway, that's just, just my views on transfer rumours, just silencing them and just talking about the game in general. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you later and have a good day and enjoy the game. <laughs>